I help you? I mean, what, rat? What did you just say? I said, you ratted on your own roommate. Word spreading. And there's gonna come a time when you need my protection, and I won't be there. Hey, what's going on here? Nothing. It's not nothing. You were threatening him. If you ever do it again without my say-so, you'll regret the day you met me. Sorry, Frank. Don't worry about it, kid. I got your back. No, you don't. Everyone knows guards are the last one to find out anything. So if word were spreading, I wouldn't be finding out about it from him. He just did that because you told him to, because you want to remind me of what's going to happen if Harvey lets you down. Well, then I guess you got the message loud and clear. Good luck to me on my hearing tomorrow. Did you do what I asked you to do? I did. You better, because if you don't sound like a human being, you're going to be in here for another two years. What the hell is Cameron Dennis doing here? You let me worry about him. Mr. Spector, please proceed. Ladies and gentlemen of the board, Mr. Gallo has served 12 years as an exemplary inmate. We ask that you release him so he can continue to live his life outside these walls. But before you decide on that, we think it's best if you hear from him in his own words. You son of a bitch, what the hell is this? It's an action on behalf of my client, Kevin Miller. You abused your power when you went after him last year. I didn't abuse shit. I beg to differ. Because not only does Kevin live in New Jersey, but his accident was there too, which means you were outside of your jurisdiction. You better rescind this suit, because if they come after They're me- They're not gonna come after you, Sean, because I haven't filed it yet. And I'm not going to as long as you agree to get Kevin out. Are you crazy? I'm not gonna do that. Why not? Because I'm not gonna get held hostage by the likes of you. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not denying the person I was or the things I did because I did those things. If I could go back and change what I did, I would, but I can't. What I can do is swear to you that I will never go back to being that person again. You crossed the line when you took Jill's money. No, Mike, I didn't, but I'm about to cross it now. You want to see abuse of power? Your deal is gone. If there are no other statements. Matter of fact, I would uh, like to say a few words. And you are? Cameron Dennis, I was the district attorney at the time of Mr. Gallo's trial. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Dennis is about to play a tape from the original trial. It wasn't admissible then, and it's not admissible now. No, Harvey, I'm going to read the transcript of your own words from Mr. Gallo's sentencing hearing. Frank Gallo is the scum of the earth. He's a sociopath who has no remorse for the things he's done, and he is an animal who deserves to be locked up for the rest of his miserable life. I gave you immunity for crimes you committed before you got caught. But your plea agreement says you'll never practice law again without a license. You've been practicing law in here, which means that's a crime that happened after you got caught. Bullshit. Kevin and Jill both know that I'm not a lawyer. You know that, and I know that. But if you fight it, I will argue it in court for the next two years. And if you don't drop this thing, you'll be lucky if they let you out a day before you were supposed to get out anyway. Mr. Chairman, I'm telling you, Frank Gallo has changed. And I'm telling the board he hasn't changed. He's just trying to blackmail him. That's a lie. Then take the stand and swear it's not true. That's enough. Mr. Spector, this is a parole hearing, not a court of law. But if there's any truth to what he's saying, we need to know. It's not true. Unfortunately, this body doesn't have the authority to swear you in, but I'm going to make sure that we will tomorrow. I'd like you to think long and hard about what you're going to say then, because you'll be saying it under oath. <laughs> <laughs>